Okay, hello YouTube. Uh, here's my second booster box opening video. Um, I do apologize, I'm not going to be running any editing software or anything like that, so the videos are kind of going to go up as is. Uh, that's just me being lazy. <laughs> uh, like I said in my very first video uh, when I showed the booster boxes, life has gotten kind of in the way. I work in the medical field, so I... Uh, Things get in the way, and my, my father, uh, I take care of him, and, you know, he's got Alzheimer's, so. It's very, very tiring. <laughs> so, but, you know, I, I've got some free time, so I'm going to do this. And I would really like to bag Adjumens in a job again uh, for introducing me to ABU games. I've been using Bidwicket and Star City and whatnot, and I've had fairly good luck with Bidwicket, mostly with Strike Zone Online. But I've had the same experiences with Star City. They, Evan Irwin, uh, you know, he seems like a nice guy, but his sight sucks fat, hairy, donkey dick. So um, I do apologize if he ends up watching this. I, uh, he may be an awesome guy, but your sight sucks. Um, so, yeah, so I've been fairly, fairly busy. Anyway, so here we got a uh, Diagraph Ghoul. Sweet. A Ghost Quarter. Awesome reprint. That is such a sick card. I would uh, rather have a Tech Edge, but uh, it'll work, right? A Battlefield or Battleground Geist, and the rare is Laboratory Maniac. It's an awesome name for a card. <laughs> yeah, we got a little thingy, one of these deals. And a Civilized Scholar. Sweet. I don't know all these flip cards. I mean, maybe draft, but, you know, it'd be awesome to make a deck with that just had these as creatures. It's an interesting idea. I don't know. Like I said, I'm an old school player. I like, I like some of the mean tricks, time vaults, and all sorts of that stuff in EDH are kind of cruel, but they're fun. So... Maybe I'll post a Power Nine video or something. I doubt it though, because I, I don't I don't want to trade them. <sighs> um, we got Sharp and Pitchfork. That is an awesome card. I don't care what anyone says. Just that is so badass. <laughs> uh, Inquisitor's Flail. You know, <sighs> I'd rather have a grappling hook. It's a good card though, I guess. A Wreath of Geists and oh, Kessig Cage Breakers. Sweet. Rule card and Throbin Sentry. Oh, and there's a foil. Forest. Of course, it's sick. And we got a foil Avacyn Priest. Sweet. <clears throat> okay. Let's see what we get. Alrighty. Spider spawning. Ugh. It's a freaking creepy picture. Uh, we got more cut Banshee. Is that what it says? Yeah. More crutch van B. Ramp bah, banshee. Huh. Sorry, I haven't had enough coffee yet. Ah, uh, I know the freaking weather here is crappy too. Uh Galvanic Juggernaut. That's a interesting card. Don't know if I Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and a blasphemous act. Such a cool name. <laughs> Such a cool name. Okay, and a homunculus. Sweet. Huh. Monculus token, huh? I got a bunch of those from Alara. Ah, and a Cloistered Youth. That's the flip. That's some really cool stuff. I'll keep reaching for that damn booster, Bob. All right. So let's keep going. Oh, hold on. I got to check the time. wife is due home soon the wife doesn't like magic <laughs> known her for 15 years and she doesn't like it all right we got a hamlet captain 
a curse of the nightly hunt you know this curse thing is kind of interesting it reminds me of the uh there were some older in the older sets a lot of the older sets they had enchantments that specifically targeted players um and, and you know i guess i have to see the other sets they're cool but i don't know maybe edh <laughs> i know i focus on edh a lot but I, it's, it's awesome uh lantern spirit and the rare is kessig wolfron sick awesome card one of these one of these and another villagers of Estwild. hopefully i can get through these uh this row of boosters before the wife gets home i wish she won't have my throat all right And I think the battery on my camera may be going out, so if it does, I do forgive. Okay, another Mask of Avacyn. Got a Rage. Rage Thrower. Sweet. It's an awesome picture. Cool name. Uh, Full Moon's Rise. Yeah. And the rare is... Oh, Olivia Volderon. Sick. Awesome card. want to make a deck with her. EDH deck. Should be a good general. i got some ideas. Got some ideas. Okay, that, that, and a Tormented Pariah. Sweet. All right. Mm. Yeah, there's only one good game shop in my town. There used to be a whole bunch. But as the time went on, now there's only one. And they're dicks, so... All right, got a Bitterheart Witch, Grasp of Phantoms, a Silver Inlaid Dagger, and the rare is Isolated Chapel. Oh, pardon me. God, sweet. Black, white, dual land. Two favorite colors for DH. Don't know what it is about it. Uh, no, it's a no foil. And a Daybreak Ranger. A little land. Cool island. <clears throat> okay. Common. Brimstone Volley, huh? Oh, that's cool. Getting quite a stack of commons over there. Okay, we got... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Trepanation Blade? Is that supposed to be Trepidation Blade? Trepanation Blade? Eh, all right, whatever. Uh, a Gallows Warden. That's a sick picture. And a Make-A-Wish. That's an interesting card. Um, it would be cool if they brought back the Wishes. I love the Wishes. They were so cool. Living Wish and whatnot. Ah, oh, so cool. Uh, but uh, yeah, let's go on to the rare is Endless Ranks of the Dead. That is an awesome, awesome card. It's a freaking awesome card. And that and Screeching Bat. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I actually didn't have to trade off too many cards for these two booster boxes. I'd be amazed at how much some of these uh, some of those cards are worth. Did get rid of uh, Mind Sculptor. Probably one of my least favorite Planeswalkers. When World Wake came out, I actually ended up... Uh, and, uh, I bought a booster back of World Wake, but I pulled eight Jaces in all and during the World Wake cycle out of booster packs. And I... I've traded off four of them now, and I'm going to keep the four just for my collection, other four for my collection, but yeah, I don't know. I feel, I feel cheap using it. I mean, it's cool, but you know, I feel cheap. I'd rather not use my Planeswalkers most of the time. Unless it's EDH, and then, you know, then it's fun. Uh, Memory's Journey. Uh, Rage Thrower. A... A Bader Ghoul? Huh. And the rare is Divine Reckoning. 
Well, that's cool. You know, a good, good, uh, good card for this set would be uh, Corpse Connoisseur from, I think, with Shards of Alara. Because you can take creatures out of your library and put them into your graveyard. And then if you use Cedrus the Trader King, they get uh, Dredge. And you can, or unearth, and then you can you can bring them back, and then there's there's just a lot of stuff in here you can use with that corpse connoisseur, and uh, it's a pretty good card. I've actually got a place if I'm gonna trade. So uh, let's see, we got Ulvenwald Mystics. I think it's a second one. Not sure. Okay, three more packs to go. Okay, looks like we've got another sharpened pitchfork, another boneyard worm, another make a wish, and the rare is Balefire Dragon. Such a random card. <laughs> Such a random card in this set. Still pretty cool though. I like dragons. And an angel token. That's pretty sweet. And a Gastaff Shepherd. That's the flip. Oh, it looks like there's a foil behind this really cool mountain card, and it's a foil uh, ghoul collar's bell. Foil common. Still a pretty, pretty cool foil. Once again, sorry if things are out of frame. I do apologize. Um, probably not going to reshoot the video. Like I said, uh, yeah, I'm lazy. <laughs> Ain't going to lie, I'm lazy. Uh, regular mausoleum guard pictures really cool actually kind of looks almost uh like a core mausoleum guard wreath of geists full moon's mist and a a chaos the lunark got this in the from the vaults thing you know it's interesting it's not i mean it's cool but yeah i don't know i don't really have much to say about it and a grizzled outcast it's the second one of those all right, two more. Got a Garrick pack. Got a Garrick pack. Too many mythics, but uh, still got you know, 12 to go here after this. So maybe delay in the videos because I told my wife I'd make her lunch. So yes, I'm a good husband. I make her lunch. Mock me if you will. Won't bother me. Dissipate. Good card. Here's that damn blade again. And a Murder of Crows. Sick. All right. Uh, Snapcaster Mage. This will probably go up for trade. I'll think about it, but make me an offer. Another Homunculus. And a Foiled Civilized Scholar. That is really sick, actually. That is really sick. I like the, the foil job on this. The foil jobs are getting so much better. I remember back in the day where it was just, just the border would be foiled and not the whole picture. You only got that in the special like starter set stuff, like the J.F. Ballard foil they had for that was real sick. And same with the, uh, I think it was Corlash, Air to Black Blade. That was a really good foil from uh, Future Sight. But uh, that is a sick foil, double-sided foil. Gotta love it, gotta love it. All right, last pack. All right. So, let's see what we got. All right, uh, 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 Curiosity, uh, Scourge of Gyre Reach, huh? Yeah, it's an elemental. Might be useful in some way. I'm one of those guys who likes to figure out a way to use every single card. You know, it's fun. There's, there's, these cards can all be used in some way, and it's fun to figure out how. Uh, Paraseline, and looks like we got Gutter Grime as the rare. Sweet. And a, another wolf token. I really like these tokens. Uh, and a tormented pariah. Alrighty. Alrighty, well, thank you for watching my video. I'm sorry if I've offended you in any way or ranted and raved about nonsensical gibberish, but you know what? Hey. Alrighty, I will see you in the next video.